So I'm still at the Lunar Python Code Dojo here, and um, uh, nous avons ici Monsieur Gauthier. Bonjour. Et Matt. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> le Matt. <laughs> Et le micro bit. <laughs> Is that how you say it, Gauthier? <laughs> Far too silly, and there's beer involved. Okay, so can you tell me what you've been doing then, Jens? Well, um, we decided that um, we wanted to create a, a game um, within the constraints of the micro bit, and, and so we've made a game called um, Flappy Bit. Flappy um, Bit uh, actually doesn't bear very much resemblance to um, Flappy Bird in that. You don't have a single button control. You yeah. con you control by um, the, the accelerometer, the accelerometer yeah. position. So can we see um, this work? So this if you okay. run the game. Wow! Look at this flappy bit. <laughs> oh, so you tilt it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, and these are randomly. Oh, oh, oh you crashed! I lost already. Line forty-two. Exception. Is that how you lose? You, you throw That's exception. how we lose so far, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> we are working on that. But you've, yeah. but you've done rather a lot because you've got the accelerometer as the controls, yeah. you've got some sort of randomly generated terrain, and you've also got strolling and collision direction, co yes. collision detection as well. The, the terrain is not generated, the randomly generated. It is okay. all written down, and we just cycle it off. Ah, right. Wow. Okay. But it's... The, ter the terrain could, uh, you could create a generator, for example, yes. to, to randomly generate, um, generate that. You could. Wow. Fantastic. Does the micro bit have a, have a random? Yes, it does. Uh, it does. Excellent. It does. And um, so when you were uh, first exploring the device, uh, you obviously didn't use the editor. What, what did you use to, to first explore the device? So we were using the, um, the, the REPL. micro REPL. Yeah. OK. Um, and how did you find that? Um, it's, it's great, actually. It's, yeah. yeah um, I, we did find a um, couple of places where the documentation is not quite up to date. Ah, yes, well, that's but, my um, fault. And I, did, I did tell you I haven't finished it, but yes, yes. It will be finished in the final version, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, um, but no, apart from that, it's great. Um, actually, one of the things that, that we both really liked is, is the, um, the fact that when you get an exception, it prints off on the little screen. Yeah, what the um, is. Yeah. But also that... Everything that you're doing, so so when you're when you're actually running the code that you've written yeah. in in the editor, yeah, um, there's a data that, if you've got the REPL up, yeah, you actually have access to the same environment, so we yeah. can actually see exactly it what's going to debug on. Starts debug, yeah, live what's what's yeah. going on on the actual micro bit. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. And it's quick. It's actually quite reactive. Yeah, fantastic. It looks like a microcontroller, but Python runs quickly. Fantastic, fantastic, gents. Thank you very much for your feedback and well done on getting such an amazing game in what about, I don't know, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Thanks a lot.